Starbucks has their 2021 holiday menu out and we are here and we are gonna try everything on the menu. Hi there, thank you for choosing Starbucks. What can I get started for you today? Hi, I have a mobile order for Daisy. A mobile for Daisy. Okay, so we are actually out of the sugar plum danish. Was there something you wanted to do instead? Um, no, that's okay. You can just leave that one off. Alrighty, go ahead and we'll do a refund for you at the window. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. Oh, they didn't have the sugar plum cheese danish. I think that's what it was called. I was really looking forward to that one. And they don't have it, so wow. That's sad, but okay, yes, yeah, so we are at Starbucks. I did not do the 2021 fall Starbucks, and I honestly regretted not doing it, so I was like, okay, we gotta do the holiday one. I got four drinks and all of the treats, except they didn't have the Danish, so we're gonna have to skip that one, unfortunately. How cute are these antlers? All of you guys were like, y'all were loving the Halloween looks, and a lot of y'all had commented, and y'all were like, <gasps> I'm gonna miss the Halloween looks so much, but don't worry you guys, we got all the Christmas looks for all the videos. Don't worry, I got a lot of cute looks planned, so I will continue rolling out the festive headgear. <laughs> because I just love it. I It makes filming so much more fun. So but yeah, anyways, I'm super excited to get this Starbucks. I did not drink coffee this morning. Well, that's kind of a lie. I drank a little bit of coffee, but I did not finish it because one, talked about this in my Arby's video. I'm having major digestive issues. I literally cannot go to the bathroom. I know that's TMI, but I'm actually cramping so much right now. And again, I'm sorry if this is TMI for any of you who are a bit squeamish, but this just started happening like two weeks ago and I talked to my boss about it and she was like, honestly, I think it's because you're going through a breakup because I'm going through a breakup and I went through a breakup like two years ago um, with a long-term boyfriend and I had a lot of digestive issues from the breakup. I don't know why it's so weird but I just had a lot of stomach issues and it lasted for a good like two months before it got better and so now I'm going through another breakup and my boss is like very in the know-how about the situation and she was like honestly I think it's the breakup because when I've gone through major life events like that I have experienced extreme digestive issues so she told me that's probably what it's from maybe I don't know I don't think it's from what I eat because um, I've been doing these like food videos for gosh like I don't know six months now at least six to eight months and I haven't had any issues but all of a sudden I'm going through a breakup and I can't go to the bathroom so <laughs> yikes yeah that's that's kind of it that's just what's going on with me what's going on with y'all I hope y'all are doing better and staying healthy I did drink this tea last night that's supposed to help you go and it didn't just made it worse just gave me insane insane cramps and that's why I'm cramping right now so it's okay we'll get through it but about to pull up to the window I'm mm, I'm really sad about this sugar plum Danish not being available there is another Starbucks like right down the road but I'm on my lunch break for work so I really don't have time to drive all the way down to that Starbucks and get it and who knows if they even have it so don't think we're gonna do that but it's cool How are you? Good. You are Daisy? Yes. Okay, Thank you. you. I'm waiting on somebody to bring me some drink carriers. Okay, no problem. And you have a snowman cookie? Yes, thank you. And what was that last food item? It was the Danish, but I don't think y'all had it. The sugar plum oh, yeah. Danish or something. So it looks like you don't have any drink carriers. That's fine. I'm sorry about that. Thank I love you. your little ears, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Do you only need one straw? Um, yes, just a straw for this is fine. And did you need any napkins? Um, no, I think that's okay. Thank you. Ready? Have a wonderful day. You too. They didn't have any drink trays. Dang it. 
It's cool though. It's fine. It's all good. We'll work with what we got. All right, you guys, we have everything set up and we are ready to give everything a try. And the first thing I'm going to try is this iced latte. This is the Grande Iced Chestnut Praline Latte. Let's give this one a try. Ooh. Okay, this is really good. I used to always get the chestnut praline syrup. So when I go to Starbucks, I always get an iced coffee and I'll just like mix up what I get inside of it. And chestnut praline syrup was always one of my favorite syrups whenever they had it seasonally. So I would always get that or the peppermint syrup. So, mm-hmm. It's pretty good. And it has like the little sprinkles on top. I don't know if you can see it because the lighting is not the best, but not bad. I would probably give this one an 8 out of 10. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, let's try one of the treats now. We're going to try this. This is the, I think it's called the Cranberry Bliss Bar. So we have, I don't know if you can see it. It's probably not going to focus. I don't really feel like bothering with the screen because I'm so far away. But yeah, Cranberry Bliss Bar. I looked it up and it's like a blondie and it has cranberries in it and then some sort of icing. So I'm excited about this because it looks really good. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's really good. I think it has some sort of cream cheese icing on it. I'm definitely tasting cream cheese. Okay, we'll try another drink. Oh, I would rate that. It's really good. Mm, I'd probably give it an eight and a half out of ten. This is the tall peppermint mocha. This was always my favorite, like... When Starbucks would roll out their holiday menu, I love the peppermint mocha. So I've had this before, but let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a candy cane. <laughs> yeah, really good. Honestly, it tastes a bit more smoky than what I remember. It's kind of like a smoky, like a toasted candy cane. That's the vibe I'm getting. <laughs> Peppermint mocha is so good. That's a really good hot drink. I'd probably give this also an 8 out of 10 just because I really like this one as well. This one is just like, I don't know. How would you describe chestnut praline? It tastes like sweet chestnuts. Whereas this... You definitely get that minty vibe to it. Okay, we'll go in with another treat. So we have this adorable little snowman cookie with a little red scarf. Super cute, you can see it better back here. I'm gonna try the bottom of it because it has like a bunch of little sugar crystals at the bottom. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Mm. it's not bad but I definitely would prefer this tree over this one this one is just really cute and festive I'd probably give this a six and a half out of ten it's not like the best tasting thing ever and it's a little dry it's a little dry but it pretty much just tastes like a normal iced sugar cookie next up we have the Grande Caramel Brulee Latte. I think it's a Caramel Brulee Latte. So let's give this one a try. Mm. I don't think I've ever had this before. Wow, okay. I actually like this one better than the peppermint mocha mm, okay so ooh, i'm gonna have to give this one a nine and a half out of ten this is really good oh wait now i want to try the ice version of the caramel brulee latte because wow that is fabulous now we are going to try their two new items this year so we have a little reindeer cake pop i will actually try to focus this for you guys 
What a little cutie patootie, isn't he? Oh, little Rory the reindeer. We love him so much. So we have this. This is new this year. And then they also have a new drink. This is the, I don't know if I'm going to like this. We'll see. This is the iced sugar. Oh, what was it called? Oh yeah. Iced sugar. <laughs> iced sugar cookie almond milk latte blonde oh it is blonde i do love their blonde coffee and their blonde like espresso but i'm not a big fan of almond milk i don't know why i used to like almond milk but now i can't stand almond milk so i don't know if i'm gonna like this and then they put like sprinkles on top like little red and green sprinkles which is pretty cute but it's not bad i think Whatever syrup they use in here, which I'm assuming is like a sugar cookie syrup, is really good because I can taste that immediately. But again, I am not a fan of almond milk. I love oat milk. Oat milk is super good. I like soy milk. But almond milk, mm, just not a fan of anymore. So this one I would probably give a 7 out of 10. I think if it had a different kind of milk in it, it would I would probably enjoy it more, but yeah i don't know it kind of tastes like it tastes like a cookie it tastes like a normal cookie dough but i can't help but taste the almond milk as well and i'm just not a fan of that so yeah yeah okay now we're gonna try our little friend over here Mm. Mm hmm Okay. Wow. Really good. I think it's just normal cake batter inside. Mmm. Mm hmm That one's good. Mm. I think I'd give that one an 8 eight out of 10. Yeah, 8 out of 10. I don't know what I rated this one, but this is by far my favorite. It was so good. So, okay. Let me know if you guys have tried the Sugar Plum Danish because I really want to try it. And if it's worth trying, I will go back and try it. Probably not in a video, but like off camera. Let me know if it's good and if I should try it. These are my favorites. So the Caramel Brulee Latte and then the chestnut praline coffee were my faves but yeah I think that's everything we did not get two drinks there was the Irish cream cold brew I did not get that one and I also did not get the toasted white chocolate mocha only because I've had that one before and to me it tastes very similar to like the regular white chocolate mocha it has like a little bit more of a smoky flavor to it which obviously they add like the toastedness to the syrup but it's okay. Let me know what you guys think. What is your favorite holiday drink from Starbucks? I would love to know. Also, what kind of holiday content do you guys want to see from me? Because Christmas is by far my favorite holiday. I plan on putting my tree up probably towards the end of November. But yeah, I really want to do some exciting Christmas content because I was not on YouTube last Christmas. I started YouTube after Christmas last year, so I didn't get to do any holiday content and I absolutely love of watching holiday content so let me know i plan on filming my q a video tomorrow but if i do not go to the bathroom by then i don't know if i'm going to be able to because my stomach is killing me like i'm just so crampy but let's find some shout outs to do let's see what we got her okay so i'm gonna give a shout out to stephanie she did not ask for one but she has been commenting on my videos for a while now and i appreciate you so much girl for watching she said i still have yet to get myself a fried chicken sandwich because i always tell myself it's too expensive definitely wouldn't get this one though because that sauce is not for me if it was honey barbecue though i love me some honey barbecue too you need to try the barbecue boneless wings from arby's wait did you say there's not an arby's near you i don't quite remember but if you do have arby's near you go try it so thank you stephanie girl all. love you so much shout out to you and then second shout out goes out to Perry Kandalia um they said wow I love this one like really you take such efforts for us and your smile makes me way more happier love you so much I love you too 
it. Thank you so much, girl. And I think that's it for this little Starbucks video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. To make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.